so now we will discuss the classification of nadirians so we have done the general account and we discussed the general characteristics and which we discussed the morphism body wall and life cycle of nadirians in general so now we will discuss the classification of nadirians so basically there are two systems for the classification of nadirians the first system in the first system the nadirians have been classified into two sub phylum so hamare paas nadirians ke classification ke liye do tarah ka system hai baaz aatam ne isko do phylum do sub phylum mein taqsim kiya hai jisko naam diya gaya hai the first sub phylum is medusozoa and the other sub phylum is entozoa so this is one type of classification for the nadirians in which all the nadirians are classified into two sub phylum the first one is medusozoa this sub phylum will consist of dominant uh, medusa stage nadirians while this one this entozoa will consist of polyform only it will lack uh it will like medusa form so this is one type of a uh, classification of nadirians but it is not used frequently it, it is not acceptable so we use another classification and that is the nadirians have been classified into the following classes that is class hydrozoa class cyphozoa class storozoa class cubozoa and class entozoa so in this type of classification the nadirians are classified into five classes that are class hydrozoa class cyphozoa class storozoa class cubozoa and class entozoa so now we will discuss each and every class in detail but before going into the detail of each and every class let us have an overview on a general overview on these classes so in class hydrozoa both polyp and medusa form do exist but the polyp form is dominant and in class cyphozoa both polyp and medusa do exist but here medusa form will be dominant in class storozoa and class entozoa they both lack medusa form so no medusa stage is found in the majority of their species so we have done class hydrozoa in which we studied that both the polyp and medusa form are exist over there but the dominant form is polyp form while in class cyphozoa the dominant form is a medusa form so in hydrozoa the gili fish are the medusa form so the gili fish present in hydrozoa they are untrue gili fish untrue gili fish while the gili fish are medusa form of class cyphozoa they are called true gili fish this true and untrue gili fish is based on the presence and absence of velum we have discussed that for example this was x umbrella and we know that the inner surface is 
so this is the x umbrella this is the outer convex surface or outer exposed surface and this inner surface is uh, concave and this surface is called sub umbrella we have done this in detail in dimorphism and body wall of nadenes so we know that willem is actually the double folded so this is the willem this is willem willem is double folded epidermis double folded epidermis we have discussed this already so willem is a double folded epidermis it is a shelf like in nature and if this is present in a, a jellyfish we call this jellyfish as untrue jellyfish while if this is absent in a jellyfish we call this jellyfish as true jellyfish now come towards the cubozoa so cubozoa is given to it due to the presence of cuboidal cuboidal shape medusa form so their medusa stage is just like a uh, just cube like so that's why they are known as cubozoa earlier this cubozoa and starozoa were placed in the rank of other under the class cyphozoa because though they were showing similarities to the class cyphozoa but later on they were divided they were classified as separate class So now we will discuss each and every class with um